actively. And I'll keep it on Kara. For the beginning portion of there, I have no problem resetting. Especially if the frog had to attack three times. When we're like halfway through the run, oh hell no. Unless we die. Unless we accidentally die. You wanna start making splits and restarting recording your runs now? That's awesome. Um best recommendation for splits, either copy another speedrunner split or create your own whatever you're most comfortable with. Hey, what's up, Dan? We almost beat our PB by 14 seconds today. Which would put us finally sub 69 for genocide. But, you know, stuff happened. Um, uh, well, considering how close we were, we are actually having a really good time speedrunning. So I disagree. Last night, we got, like, close a couple of times, and then he just, like, core was just really bad. We even had a core that actually saved us 13 seconds, but the rest of the run leading up to it was just crap. I just wanted to kill Sans at that point. That's why I didn't care. Yeah, it died to core by 9.9 .9 seconds. It was so sad. It's always it's always core. I mean, if you can get like an amazing opening time, why the hell am I attacking the froggy? Oh no, wait a minute, never mind. For some reason I'm thinking like TP8. Oh, Please don't get stuck on Okay, there we go. If you can get an amazing time on Ruin, like sub 10 minutes, then you, that 40 second save right there will like just help regardless of core. But you have to get everything perfect if you want, like, a really good time. You have to have good Ruin RNG, Snowden RNG, Waterfall RNG, and a neutral core. And when I say neutral core, it means a core that doesn't take time away, doesn't give time. And I can, like, PB a little bit more consistently. If we want, like, if everything was just right, it'd be like, yay! Cause like this time right here is like I just want that sub 69 at the moment. Probably make me the happiest. <laughs> Ugh. Probably be like the greatest thing giving that sub 69. You know, just save off 14 seconds. Just 14 seconds. It's two. My Monday's been great, KBG. How's your been? Are you still at school? Ask him because you care. Aww. You guys are awesome. A lot of people don't like Mondays. Because it's, you know, school and work day. I mean, I'll be busy in the evening. But I'm not gonna hate it. F4. Huh. This is at five. Six. This is really good RNG for this area. And then we get another program. When they just make you hungry. Oh my gosh. Okay, seven. <clears throat> this will be eight. This is so much better than the last time that we had. So much better. And now we're getting all frogs. <laughs> uh. Okay, that's nine. This will be ten. This will be eleven. Undertale mode where every enemy is replaced with undying and undying ought to be easy. 
I'd play that mode. That'd be easy peasy. Oh, our opening rooms was so bad. Oh, you like that world record time? Isn't it beautiful? I need to update those. <laughs> need to update it. Just a little bit. So much better starting. You're the first person to say anything about it. First one to say anything. Is Kiki Bun in here? I see somebody saying hi, Kiki Bun, but I don't see you in the chat. 13. I mean, the punch card is gonna, like, own the crap out of neutral and TPE. So those times are gonna be, like, sub an hour for neutral and then. You know, sub 135 for TPE. We need seven. Oh, hell yes. Are you kidding? I menued the pixie, the winsome. Are you serious? Uh, I was summoned. Hi. How are you, Kiki Bun? No, 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 no. You can do pass the neutral. You don't do Jenna neutral. You can, you, pu you can punch card it. If you do pass the neutral, you can use the punch card. Do you recommend speedrunning on... If you want to do Genocide, which is unaffected by any of the patches, then you can do 1.01. Um, if you want to do TPE or neutral runs, then you need to preferably run 1.0. Run the beta version. Genocide, it doesn't matter. It has no negative or positive effect on your runs and abilities to do it. So, like, it depends on what you want to start speedrunning. Like, if you want to start speedrunning Genocide, then just do 1.0. Or... 1.1, it doesn't matter, you don't have to do anything. If you want to start speedrunning TPE and pass the neutral, I mean, punch card anyways, just do it with 1.0, vanilla classic version. Biggest skips I saw were lab, meditant cooking. Just about any scene that has a cutscene that you can use a punch card on. Even the elevators, you can use it in. It is really, really, really good. We only need two enemies here. Welcome home from school engaging comic. But it's like if you if you have like the DRM free version of Undertale from Toby's website, you're stuck with version uh, 1.01. Because once it's updated, there's no way to revert it back to the beta version. The original classic vanilla version. But if you have the Steam version, then you can do it by going through the options. Toby even says, like, how to do it. And he did that because, like, some people had, like, compatibility issues or problems, like, opening the game. What do I do in Undertale after finishing all endings? Speedrun. <laughs> Uncover all the secrets. This is a great one. Like, what I did after I completed my pacifist route and genocide route is I played the game again pacifist, but it was a soulless pacifist route. And then, what's it called? The cap of win yesterday? No, we didn't get any new PBs, unfortunately, dude. And then just, like, look for the secret enemies, like, so sorry, glide. They're really freaking, they're worth your time. Um, go visit Gaster. You can do that. Which I've never seen Gaster. Legitimately, like, in the game. I've seen the Gaster, like, fan-made game, but I don't think that's the same thing. I could just imagine how much... I don't know, I, I really want to see Gaster. One of these days, we're going to be, like, walking through there, and we're going to see this mysterious room, and we're going to be like, what the hell is wrong with my game? Except I should be running, um, 1001 if I want to see that. Yeah, no. Since she's going to have a thousand hours, we're going to throw her a Kappa party.
That's what she requested. It's a lot of hours. Most hours I've had in chat is like 320. Almost sub 11 minutes. <clears throat> Alright, Zim. Have a good one and thank you for dropping by. So, did I live in chat? Even when I'm cooking. How <laughs> uh, uh. do you get back into the game after a genocide route? Does it reset like completely? Um, you're gonna have a black screen for like 10 minutes. Kara's gonna ask you to sell your soul, say yes, and then you're back to like do whatever you want. Um, your game at that point becomes tainted, so every single time you do a TPE, it's going to be soulless unless you completely clear out your save file. Wow, 14 seconds save there is really, really helpful. Now I can save time in Snowden. So, like, if you load up your game and it's just black and you hear, like, the sound of, like, emptiness and wind and crap, leave your game open for 10 minutes and Kara will say, hey, if you want to play the game again, I'm going to make you a deal. Give me your soul. If you say yes, you can start the game back up as normal. If you say no, you got to wait 10 minutes until until you have to, like, talk to Kara again. It's such crap. It is such a crappy deal. <clears throat> it's like, oh, jeez. It's like, okay. Um, the easiest thing to do is learn how to clear your save. DRM free version, you just delete the Undertale save folder. Steam version, you do like the same thing, except you need to make sure to corrupt your, and disable your Steam Cloud Sync, which you're going to have to refer to YouTube for that. Um, third method is if you have the Steam DR DRM, delete everything in the save folder except for the file that's System Information 962. Right click on it, go to properties, click on security, and the middle section it's going to say edit. Click on edit and check the box that says denied, read, and execute um, on the file. So it allows the game to modify it, which taints your save file for like the Solus route or whatever, but it's not able to read it. Allowing you to effectively have a true reset every single time you load up the game, if you have the Steam DRM version. You do that crap. <laughs> How long did it take you to beat Sans for the first time? Um, took me less than 30 tries. It's like 27 or 28 tries to beat him. I don't know how long exactly that was, because it got to the point where I just stopped recording. Because I was like, oh jeez, Sans, I hate you, man. But it's just like, it's a ridiculous fight. The first time you fight Sans, it's like, what the freaking crap? Yeah, but when you disable the Steam Cloud after doing a genocide route, it leaves a cache version in the save that every single time you like load up the game, it throws that 962 file back in there, Red Hurricane. So if, if you did genocide once and you got the Cloud Sync, it really screws with it. <clears throat> First Sans beat was on your like 13th try. Good for you. It takes people varying times, anywhere between a couple hours to two weeks, whatever. Sans is beatable for everybody. He's not the most impossible enemy, and it's like, the better you are at picking up his patterns, the sooner you'll beat him. <coughs> Mine's enabled by default. It sucked, dude. <laughs> it sucked. So then it's like, there's a way to corrupt your save file, too. To clear it. Hey, what's up, Etherstar? If you don't have money to buy Undertale, just do chores and stuff. I was watching someone who was on like their 300th try or something fighting Sans. I don't know if they would even beat him. What's up, Stormer? You know, there's some people that are really getting up there. I think he didn't beat it until like 4 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't stay awake any longer. I was awake till like 3.30 and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get up early tomorrow. I can't do this. 
But he beat him. He beat Sans. You guys always will beat Sans, no matter what. Whether you like it or not, you will beat Sans. just keep Steam Cloud disabled, and when it tries to sync, it just tells you not to sync your files. Um, like, what would the message be that you get that pop up? Because it just, like, auto-syncs it. It throws that stupid 962 file over there from doing genocide if you did that. I mean, there's a reason why a lot of people started Googling and YouTubing how to, like, disable that crap. Like, videos like that was set up for other games, but then they spiked a bajillion views just based off of Undertale. Having that little feature in there. I wonder how it's gonna be, like, with Undertale and, like, the Wii U or on a console. I know supposedly you can play Undertale on your Android phones. Like, I asked you guys about that. Nobody said, like, if it was, like, yes, no. Because I've only seen screenshots, like pictures, of you guys like tweeting about it, not actually like, I never watched a video on like how to do it or whatever. You can get it to have a menu pop up when it realizes the files are not in the right place anymore, since you deleted them. I followed a YouTube video for it. Hmm, okay. How does Genocide Run taint future runs? You get a change in dialogue and events in the game based off of doing genocide prior to it. Um, you get what's referred to as... Holy crap, though, game's gonna kill me. You get what's called a soulless... Um, TPE result. Through pacifist ending. It's really interesting. Um, the ending that you get is really cool, too. <laughs> yeah, but nobody came. We're at three. We're not doing too hot on time for Snowden. It comes down to, like, how our RNG will be with our encounters. Six health is not really safe right here. I might want to heal. Because <laughs> if I get hit twice, I instant die. I'm gonna do that. No, I'm not gonna do that. Screw it. We're just gonna stay here and just yellow it. <laughs> I would have to walk all the way over there to heal. Oh, jeez, this is not good. Oh my gosh, that's dangerous. Much dangerous, much wow. Set seven. As long as I don't get hit twice, I should be okay. I wasn't thinking letting myself get so low with the doggy. Much low, low, yellow, yeah, kinda. So dangerous right now. I don't really have much of a choice if I want to maintain time. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose a crap load of time trying to go heal. Yeah, except I got 6 HP. I could've healed when walking past, but I didn't. It's like the game has, like, increased the number of things that could potentially kill me, because I'm getting nothing but triples.
Look at this. The game wants to kill me. We're at 11. I mean, if we get two more triples and a double, we'll be okay. Watch a neutral run on YouTube. It's a bit creepy at the flower fight. It's much creepier than you did it yourself. Okay, we're at old 12. Two triples will be out of here with amazing time, assuming I don't die. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just wasn't paying attention when myself get this low. Yeah, 12 out of 16. This puts us at 14, so whatever we run into next, we're clear. Uh, we get a triple. We're gonna have amazing RNG time. If we get a double, we'll still be like okay, but a triple would be best. I mean, if we get a triple, which it's like it's like a 30 second step counter, we'll be done sub 23 minutes. We'll beat the Snowden time of 23:50. Um, ain't bad. If we get a triple. If we get a double, it's safer, but it's slower. Noticeably slower. See? Cause see how long we have to wait? 30 to 40 seconds. 45 seconds, like, step counter. For the final enemy. So being at 2 is, like, so, 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 so bad. Of course, we get Jerry. It's safe. Which means I won't get, like, completely pwned. But it still sucks. Because now we're going to kill Jerry. His name is John <laughs> of all times, the Cena. Of all things, the John Cena. You Cena a Jerry. I hope you're proud of yourself. I hope you're proud. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're not gonna be that far ahead with this. Thanks to the Jerry. But it's safer. What happens is people try to activate the John Cena cooldown thing, Anna, without having enough pop points for it. You go, oh my gosh, sound effect. It's like, oh my goodness. Without realizing, it's like, okay, I put in the cooldown commands for people who actually can afford to use the sound effect, but a bunch of people try to use it anyways. Okay, we're probably... I don't know how much time we're actually going to lose here. Probably going to be overtime, which is going to suck so bad. Like, if you want to know how to do the sound effects, type in next mark SFX. All Undertale sound effects are absolutely free, whereas... The ones like the John Cena that you just heard cost a thousand pop points and cool down of an hour. Are you freaking kidding me? How much time am I gonna lose here? Wow. Really? Because of that, Jerry? We lost 22.9 seconds. Okay. That's not too bad, 8.8 .8 seconds. I mean, we sh can still get a PB here. That sucks. Jeez. It's because we got the Jerry. We still would have been ahead if we didn't get the Jerry. Yeah, core can make up for it. Um, the best core I ever got, average core is 10 minutes for me. Best core I ever got was less than 9 and a half, 920. That means core can effectively save up to 40 seconds. If you get a bunch of freaking triples. I mean, I've had it where, like, I only got, like, two magic night nights. Four triples. And then a whole bunch of, like, the fast doubles. It was, like, the most amazing thing ever. And that's not even, like, a perfect core. That's just, like, a really good core. 
I mean, you can only imagine like a sub nine minute core. <laughs> gotta water those. But yeah, if you don't got 100 power points, you can't use the sound effects. You can't use the big ones yet. And then you double down on, uh, what's it called, power points every Friday and Sunday is double power points. Friday is face rig. So you get to choose Undertale face rig characters. This is probably one of my favorite things. I might consider implementing, like, a change of voice effects, but... I don't know, I like throwing that out there just to be like a squeaker for SMGs. Cause like my Logitech headset has like the um, you can modify your voice and screw with your voice. It's like okay, that's girl. Oh jeez, that just went through my head. Very nice. The next portion. If the next portion is good, the spears, and we don't run into multiple errands, we'll save back all our time. And we need a fast kill against Sushi. This is gonna be an interesting run. It's like it's on the fence of whether or not we're gonna get a good run or a bad run. You know, it's like right there on the fence. With the RNG let's us have. I'm gonna call it that it's gonna be a PB. Oh my gosh, the name Kara and everything. I would like that. That'd be really nice. Raises the bar for ruins. Because the ruins time is really good. It's not the best ruins time we ever had. Best ruins time we've ever had was like almost sub ten and a half minutes. Hey, what's up, magnificent? Maja. There we go. Oh yeah, that was way more damage than we needed to do. These guys only got like 60 health. So we're at 2 for our count. Let's put that down. What are the commands for the sound effects? Um, exclamation mark SFX. Undertale sound effects are free. Um, the other ones are not free. The GG sound effect is free, which is basically just the sound of children like cheering. That one's appropriate for like everything. It's it's appropriate for like dying. It's appropriate for like getting a successful PB. It's it's such a wonderful generic cheer sound effect that it's like okay, we're keeping that one. So you have like free Undertale sound effects, then you got the ones that you use your power points on. I right, use power points explore again. Uh, sound effects. And then you get double power points in the weekend. You used to be able to get custom ranks using your power points. But I rebalanced it because I do double pop points. Meet mine, how are you? Thank you for following. You're getting passively for just hanging out. I mean, if I enable multi entry where you guys can mul do multiple roles for like face rig, the name, and stuff like that, then you guys can use pop points for that. But I typically don't enable it for it. Also, a lot of people were hoarding their power points instead of spending them. That's why I changed it, so you guys... I want to promote you guys to use the sound effects to... It's a way of interaction, interacting with me, the streamer, and fellow viewers. I want to promote that. You gotta do the GG when Undyne dies. Uh, you know, if you want to hoard your power points, that's up to you. You know, it's bragging rights to be like, Hey, look how many power points I got. But you can also drop big sound effects like every hour on the hour like the Cena effect. I 
mean, I think Raven has enough pop points that she could do a John Cena every single hour on the hour for like three weeks straight. If, if it wasn't for like the cooldown being like broken. Because the cooldown command is supposed to tell you what the cooldown is left on it, but you guys like try to use it without being able to pay for the command. Now, this is a really fast. Here. Man, is it working? You think you're doing it wrong? Probably. <laughs> that would probably be a very good assumption. The spears should probably help us with this. Hey, what's up, David John Chimbalta? I don't know, how much time is it? Is it gonna shave off any time for a mad dummy split? Or are we still gonna be, like, gently over? Because we got through all the spears just fine. We might. Well, the 8.8 seconds is over time. We got through the spear stuff pretty quickly, so I might have saved enough time to, like, equalize it a little bit. At least save four seconds off of it. Maybe not. Okay, no, never mind. And his name is. As I do the split weight. We saved like three seconds there. More than three seconds. Um, we saved like four. So that's not too bad. Okay, we're at three. So now it comes down to we can equalize this if we get good RNG down here. Just the one Aaron encounter. Plus the fast kill against Undyne. Okay, we're at five. Killed the Aaron. If this is the only Aaron that we get and we get all fast doubles in a single Temi, we're gonna be s doing so good. We'll bring back the three second deficit. Looks like four seconds. And then we should be able to get ahead. Seven. Did I just kill Tam? Yeah, totally. We need just nothing but these in one Tam. <laughs> we need to kill another Tam. Please give us another Tam. I don't. I don't like killing Tam, but sort of need to. Sort of need to. Kind of wanna. Yes, maybe. Definitely. And we get an Aaron. I'm gonna just yellow it and run. I'm gonna pretend he's our Timmy, so we're at 10. Jino doesn't sound sad for G. That's funny though. Aw, oh, jeez, we get another Aaron anyways. Okay, I have to kill this one. When you first heard the sound effects, you thought you had like a virus or something? A lot of people will be confused by the sound effects. Um, but they're free to use and they're a lot of fun. They're really... You know... I first implemented them for the Halloween edition of Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Allows you guys to be a little trolly and whatnot. Definitely worked. Definitely worked. Need a double here. Please be a double non Temi. Thank you. And then we need another double just like this one. We'll be good. We'll be really pretty good for our pace right here. And then we have to kill and die fast. No, you can't kill Aaron with a triple crit. You almost kill him? Which is just dumb. You almost kill him. It really sucks.
including X, Muffet, yep. Cooking show, Muffet fight, so it means you don't need the donut, so then you save time there. Um, you can skip like Asgore dialogue in the throne room, it's like really good. It effectively makes like, it's gonna be, it's gonna almost get to the point that there should be a category that includes 100% any percentage or whatever for speed running Undertale. Because if the punch card worked for Genocide, then you should have an additional category that would be you have any percentage, and then you have what's it called 100%, or even like glitchless. Because for what it's worth, Genocide is glitchless. There's like really no glitches that you do in this. Whereas TPE and neutral with the punch card is glitches. Can you skip Mad Dummy with the punch card? No, I don't think so, because I was watching TGH play last night and he didn't skip it. Unless he did it on accident. Screwed up. Timing. I think I asked this already, but have you seen the One Punch Man and Undertale crossover? No, I haven't. Yeah, if we get a PB here... Don't start spamming capos without a capo party, Dark Lord. It's a punch card skip? I'll add the command after this run. And Flowey number 10, thank you for following. Basically, have you seen the lab skip? It's like a portable lab skip. <laughs> but nobody, thank you for that follow too. If we get a PB, we do the gamble party, because we did it for opening already. We have to get a fast kill. Gosh, it almost touched me. Come on, I need doubles. That kind of helps. Another double. right here. No, I missed I missed two crits for the fast kill. That sucks. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, I know about that Link of Doom. <clears throat> it's gonna put us like 15 over or something. Nah, it's not run. But it would have made life like a lot easier when it came down the core. Oh, 12.9. Wow. How did Jimmy do? Jimmy did bad. <laughs> oh, Jimmy did not make it, dude. You're getting the same keyboard Ichi has for your birthday. Holy crap, nice. Hopefully you want it for more than, like, just speedrunning and stuff. It's good for all sorts of gaming. I'm more of a controller gamer, but I didn't know that Undertale supported um, controller. So I just assumed and I've used keyboard ever since. Yeah, decent core could save the run. If we get any sort of time save from core, um, definitely would help this run right here. May I link, please? No. Having a PB without the fast kill would be annoying though. It is annoying, but it just means like the next PB after this one will be just that much easier getting the fast kill and undying. I mean, the most boringest thing ever is if I like grind it out uh, ruins to get a sub 10 minute time to go for genocide. So I can prove like consistency of percentages. But then that would be like the most boringest thing to ever do. Resetting the first 10 minutes of the game over and over and over again without ever fighting on Dine and Sands. It's like, really? Screw that. life easier not having that royal guard split. You have to go study, Lannis? See ya. Thank you for joining us today. Do you have any tips for sands? Oh, jeez. Um, if you got the burnt pan from Hotlands where we fought Sunderplan, plane, whatever, take a uh, right instead of a left for the burnt pan. You need the burnt pan. Burnt pan helps a lot. Snow pieces from Snowden heal for 45 apiece, 49 with the burnt pan. If you have the booty pie and the instant noodles, those are full heals against the Sands fight. And ultimately, if you got all those things to make it easier, just practice. Because it's a fixed pattern of attack every single time. Within reason, I mean, there's some RNG where he does like four random attacks in between. Um, those are not RNG based, those are just, they're just random. So it's like, if you were to try to do Sands blind, You'd probably lose. Doesn't matter how good you are, you'd probably lose against Sans because you wouldn't know what the variables would be with those attacks. They're gonna be like five seconds over here. Yeah, isn't that funny? Hey, what's up, Mazafon? Ten point three. Wow. We can save that in core. We could definitely save that. If we get a fast core, you can save, the most I've ever saved was 40 seconds from a fast core. 
I mean, if we save 40 seconds on this run of all runs, oh my gosh, it'd be so like, oh jeez. <laughs> oh, of all the runs to save. Hey, what's up, Retropixel? 40 seconds on. If we save 40 on this one, it's gonna be like, really? I'll take it, but wow. You're gonna reset your genocide just to get the three snowman pieces and the booty pie for sands? You don't need them, it just makes it easier. Have I ever done a pacifist speedrun? I have. Um, all my personal bests are link linked and listed in my channel description below. Um, I have neutral speedruns, TPE, and genocide. Um, I've done like nine TPE runs, like eight neutral runs. Um, runs I've done the most of is genocide. It's my most practiced speedrun. And with the punch card, I'm going to do some more TPE runs on the weekends. Because they're still going to take like an hour 45 to do. Now I do all my speedruns on stream. The only thing I set up for practice is if I'm going to practice any of the skips. Like, lab skip, I set that up to practice it off stream. Um, along with. Well, I learned how to do it on stream with you guys. And the reason for it is because, like, between work and my schedule, when it comes to gaming, all my gaming has to be done on the stream. Almost all of my gaming time has to be done with you guys on the stream. So it's like I'm not cheating on you guys. So, including practice things on the stream, fighting sands, doing speedruns all on the stream. So you guys have seen me, if you saw me from my first speedrun, I have started really crappy and progressively gotten better. Trial by fire, by going from beginning to end instead of practicing specific bosses. You can practice specific bosses, but then there's no adrenaline rush. There's no risk. There's no like, oh my gosh, you know. See, like, we didn't get a fast kill against Undyne. I missed it by one crit. Well, actually two. No, I missed it by two crits. If I got the triple, I probably would've got it. Do you believe you have the optimal path and the rest is just up to RNG? Yeah. It really comes down to RNG. There's not much, there really isn't much you can do to tweak the genocide route to optimize it that much more. I mean, you gotta get lucky. It's... It's sort of like how somebody said, it's like half skill, half luck. Except I believe in luck acquired through skill. I mean, the core ruins even the best runs. The best of all runs get dunked on. Thanks to core. Just got home from school. Hello, Ichi community. Hey, what's up, Sarah? We want a Kappa party! <laughs> you need to be like, Core, damn it, please, ain't nobody got time for that. We're at 17. At this point, it's like the Step Chrono that's going crappy. AKA hitting those critical hits. Yeah, if you can consistently hit quads, you can turn any night night magic combo into like you know, something good. Really? I miss I miss one crit so he lives with one HP. Screw you dude. Red nineteen. This one we need eight, which would be two triples and a double. So we're at 20.
mode where every enemy is replaced by a Mega Flower. Why would that be cool? Those fights would take for frickin' ever. This sort of screws with our RNG. We're at 25. One more triple and we can actually have PB. single. Single anything. Night Night Magic would even be fine if we quad crit the magic and then... Coffee after Lent? Yes. I'll probably be breaking it on Sunday, Easter Sunday. Okay, so we got a really good core. There's a chance of a personal best here. Wow. We we got a fast core. By 25.8 seconds. It's almost a sub nine and a half minute core right there. So we would have saved the additional 20 seconds if we got a fast kill against Undyne, if I didn't miss two crits. Screwed up as that is. Yeah, it's still up to Sands. If I can maintain that time, we could get sub-69. I have to menu like a boss. Okay.
I know the chance. There's a chance of it. Getting stuck on things doesn't exactly help. It's a beautiful meme outside. Memes are singing. Memes are blooming. On days like these, kids like you should be memeing in hell. I got trapped on the second portion, the top side.
jeez. How without eating? <laughs> A new PB or spill coffee on his computer. <laughs> Answer me this. How good was our core? Our core was really good. We didn't get a fast kill against Undyne. We would have added an additional 30 seconds to this run. 20 from just 20 just from Undyne. We were negative 10, you know, we were behind 10.3 seconds. Core brought us back by 25.8 seconds. We almost had a sub 9.5 minute core. The fastest score I've ever had was 9.20. It was the fastest score I've ever had. We also quad critted some of the enemies too. Done. He's not going to say anything else. That's it. Just, uh, just don't say I didn't warn you. Well, I'm going to grill these.
Now, now, there's no need to meme. Why not settle this over a nice cup of memes? Why you? So yeah, I never betrayed you. It was all a trick. I can help. Please don't kill me, senpai! Greetings. I am Kara. Thank you, DT community. Your dank memes awakened me from death. My dank soul. My memination. They were not mine, but yours. At first, I was so confoogled. Our dank meme had failed, hadn't it? Why was I brought back to meme? You, Ichi community. With your memes, I realized the purpose of my meme nation. Memes, together. We eradicated and out meme the enemy and became meme malicious. Memes, 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 and more memes. Every time an Ichi community member memes, that meme, that's meme, Kara. Now, we have reached the absolute meme. There is nothing left for us to meme here. Let us meme this pointless world and move on to meme the next. <laughs> right. You are a great partner. We'll be together forever, Ichi community. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sub 69. Ladies and gentlemen, sub 69 confirmed. Which can mean only one thing. This can mean only one thing. One possible thing must occur now. In celebration of the greatest of greats. Do you know what that is? Do you know that feeling? That dank... That dank emoji... From the depths of the interwebs? The one that we praise for good luck? For all our speedruns? No? You're unfamiliar? Well, you're gonna learn today. And now for a poet about a shiba dance. Each of our does is love. Each of our ass is life. Each of our ass's hair looks very nice. Each of our ass is sexy. And he rock. I just wanna suck his Asian meat balls. balls. Raise your cappas! We done it! New personal best. Sub 69, baby! Sub 69! This is an automatic message from Twitch TV. We are having technical difficulties with the Kappa emote. Please type Kappa into your chat to make sure it works. Thank you for your cooperation.
Kappa is the tenth letter of the Greek alphabet. It's used to represent the case sound in ancient and modern Greek. In graph theory, the connectivity of a graph is given by kappa. In differential geometry, the curvature of a curve is given by kappa. In Twitch chat, the almighty emote is given by kappa. Does it ever stop? When will this stuff stop being hilarious to people? I mean seriously is there no originality left on this world? I don't know about you guys but I'm sick of every time I see Eat your body. I have to scroll past the spam of Kappa. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> Senpai Ichi Badass. <laughs> Everybody listen to Ichi. He knows what he's talking about. All right. All right. Calm your kappas. <laughs> we did it. We got a new personal best. Sub 69 minutes. We finally did it. With a with a, cr a crappy mid game, no fast kill against Undying, we did it. <laughs>